In Photoshop, you can apply a rough edge effect very quickly to any layer. So what I'm going to do, just come over here to the Layers panel, click here so you can resize it just slightly. So just there, resize it using the Transform tools, and you've got something like that. Press Return. What you can then do is go to Select, and then Load Selection. So Load Selection, and then just use, obviously you've got the name there, and the transparency and click OK. And now you can see you've got this selection around here. I want the selection to be slightly less. So just go to select and transform selection and then just resize it a bit. Maybe make it 10 or 20 pixels in and then press return. Well, with this, I can then go to select and modify and feather. Just want to add a bit of feather into it. You don't have to do this, but it's quite a good, interesting effect. So feather, and I'm going to go with 60. Obviously, it depends on the size of the document. This document's 2,000 or so by 1,200. And click OK. So with this around here, you can then go to select and inverse. So all the effects now are only applied outside of that selection. Go here to filters and just down here to, and you could use distort, and I would suggest something like ripple, or maybe wave. Wave's a great one, so wave. With wave, set number of generators to one, and then you can change the wavelength, and you can see the effect in the preview. Unfortunately, not here. And you can also randomize it, so you can just try out different ones, maybe change settings again, and then go with different amplitudes. And once you've done that, click OK. And of course, you could use other filters as well, you can always go to filter and distort and maybe use ripple. That creates a good roughness to it. So ripple and then just go there. You can see then you've got your ripple effect and of course you can modify it. I've got 721 setting and medium. Click OK. And you can see now the effect there. Great thing about these filters, you can apply multiple times. So filter and ripple again. And you can see just makes it rougher and rougher each time you apply it. Also, what you can do is you can go over here and select maybe some of the tools here. I would suggest something like the smudge tool. So smudge tool. With that, you can, of course, set different sizes. I've got 174. You can use different brushes, a whole range of different brushes you can use. And then simply just drag outwards or inwards. It doesn't affect then the image. So you can just create all kinds of lovely frames and rough designs. And of course, you can then manipulate again those edges using the ripple effect or any of the other filters. So filters and ripple again, and that will be applied to that. Hope you found this of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.